Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng uh, substitution method sa pag-solve ng system of linear equation. So, sa first example, meron tayong Sa pagsagot ng system of linear equation ng substitution method, laging kailangan nating meron tayong y variable equal to an expression or x variable equal to an equation or expression. So in this case, yung ating line 2 ay already y by itself. So gagamitin natin yung substitution method by plugging in the value of y to 5x minus 4y equals 6. So yung ating y variable ay magiging 2x plus 3 doon sa line 1. So 2x plus 3. And then the rest of the problem will stay the same. So meron tayong 5x minus 4y equals 6. So by simplifying our equation by the distributive property, meron tayong 5x minus 8x minus 12 equals 6. At by solving for x, pwede natin i-combine si 5x minus 8x which gives us negative 3x which is minus 12 equals 6. And by solving for x, we add 12 on both sides. So x is equal to negative 6. So, yan yung ating uh, first variable. At sa pagkuha ng second variable, mas madali na lang kasi gamit ang line 1, which is y equals 2x plus 3. Pwede natin change or replace si x, which is negative 6. So, we'll have y equals negative 12 plus 3, which is equal to negative 12 plus 3 is negative 9. So, ang solution... No problem number one, I, negative six and negative nine. So yan yung paggamit ng substitution method sa pag-solve ng linear system. Now yung example number two. Meron tayong x plus y equals 12 and x minus y equals 2. Now, mapapansin nyo sa example na to, wala tayong uh, equation na kung saan yung isa sa mga variable ay by itself. So, ang gagawin ko, modify ko yung line 2 and change it into x equals something kasi negative yung y. So, ang gagawin ko sa x minus y equals 2 ay... Aalisin ko yung y dito sa equation na ito para meron akong x equals y plus 2. So ngayon, meron na akong line 1, line 1, at line 2, na kung saan yung line 2 ay variable by itself. So by substitution, I will replace x by y plus 2. So yung x natin ay magiging y plus 2. At kokopyahin lang natin yung mga natitirang um, terms, which is plus y equals 12. At by solving for y, we can combine y and y. So it's 2y plus 2 equals 12. And by solving for y, So, y is equal to 5. Uh, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, since yung ating line 2 ay x equal to y2, we can replace y by 5, giving us x equal to 5 plus 2 ay 7. So, ang solution ay 7 at saka 5. So, yan yung example number 3. O yung pangalawa natin example. Now, doon sa pangatlo natin example, meron tayong
Now, since wala akong nag-iisang variable dun sa ating line 1 at saka line 2, mamimili ako ng line na mas madaling i-modify. At in this case, mas madaling palitan si line 1 kasi yung y natin is by itself. So, by solving for y, so ganyan akong negative 3x plus y equals 6. So, by adding 3x on both sides, yung line 1 ko ay magiging y equals 3x plus 6. So, yan yung aking bagong linear system, which is yung y equals 3x plus 6. At yung line 2 ay 6x minus 2y equals 25. So, by using line 1, which is 6x minus 2y equals 25, dito sa aking bagong linear system, i -re replace ko si y by 3x plus 6. And kokopyahin ko yung mga natitirang terms. So, I have 6x minus 2 equals 25. And by simplifying my equation, I'll distribute negative 2 dun sa 3x plus 6. So, 6x minus 6x minus 2, negative 2 times 6 is 12 equals 25. Now, mapapansin nyo yung ating variable na x ay magiging 0. So, wala na tayong coefficient which is negative 12 equals 25. And when this happens, ibig sabihin ang solution natin I no solution. So, yung ating line 1 ay line 2. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang line 1 ay parallel sa line 2. Kapag ka ang ating right-hand side ay hindi equal sa left-hand side, meron tayong parallel lines na kung saan ang slope ng line 1 at ang slope ng line 2 ay magkaparehas. Mapapansin nyo dun sa line 1 natin, yung slope natin, ay equal sa 3. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung ating line 2, kapag minodify natin siya, yung ang slope niya ay magiging 3 din. So, 6x minus 2y equals 25. Kapag change natin siya sa y equals mx plus b, by subtracting 6x, we'll have negative 2y minus 6x plus 25. And by dividing all of them by negative 2, mapapansin nyo na yung ating slope sa ating line 1 will change into y equals negative 3x minus 25 over 2. So yung ating slope sa line 2 ay equal to um, positive 3. I'm sorry. This is positive 3 kasi negative divided by negative is positive. I positive then So, pareha sila ng slope. So, ibig sabihin, parallel yung lines natin. So, yan yung pagsagot ng uh, uh, substitution method at ng linear system using algebra. At kung uh, natutunan kayo or may natutunan kayo sa video na ito, please uh, subscribe, like, and share my video para mas marami, marami pa akong estudyante na ma Tulungan. Thank you.